Now in part B, we've got to state how in our calculations then that uh, we have used the fact that the child and the block can be modelled as particles. Well, if you've got your child standing here, okay, we'll just quickly do a quick doodle in there, and we've got some kind of block here, then clearly what we've done is we've assumed that the masses are concentrated at a point. They'd be spread apart here if we had a child here and a big mass here. So we're reducing these two masses to particles, okay? Point masses. So we can say that for part B, the masses are concentrated at a point or the weights act at a point rather than being spread about, okay? So there you go. There's your answer then to B. One, one or other of these should do.